Hello you guys and welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga with me, Leslie. I'm sure Lenny will be joining us soon enough. I hope you guys are doing well and are ready for some yoga. I know I am. Uh, we're going to do definitely some focus on the neck and upper body today and hopefully it is just a nice relaxing session. We have just a little bit of time so I'll let you get yourself set up, get your water, get your mat, get your cat. He's out there. Um, our uh, basement is actually a little flooded so this might be like the last time you guys see me in this space for a while. I don't know what's going to happen so uh, if it's a little echoey it's because I've taken out everything except for this. <laughs> so cat's probably out there sniffing all the stuff is really what I'm getting at. Um, so anyways, there's that. So let's do some yoga, all right? So get your water, get a drink. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I totally put CWI on here. So exciting. All right, come on down to your mat. Get yourself nice and comfortable. Legs crossed, sitting up nice and tall. You can go ahead and start your watches if, you know, you're into that kind of thing like to keep myself on time. Go ahead and close your eyes and just breathe. Inhaling in through the nose and out. Make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. Focus on that breath, how it feels within the body. Use your breath to help Calm your mind. Let all of those random thoughts that are coming and going and trying to dictate your day, just let them go. As you inhale, really feel that oxygen going to the deepest part of your lungs. Feel your ribs expanding outward. And as you exhale, pull your belly button into your spine. Let it all go. Inhaling in and out. Just feeling your body get a little heavier into your mat. And bring a smile onto your lips. Because even though we have uncertain times and changes and catastrophic events from our weather, being here in our present moment, focusing on our breath, allows us to be grounded, allows us to help formulate what we really truly need to do for ourselves, for our homes, for our community. So the more we can sit with this discomfort, the more you can move through it with ease. So we smile and we breathe. if you notice your brain is still just trying to take over everything, start to count your breath. One on the inhale, two on the exhale, three, four. Keep that going until you get to ten and then start again. Notice where you're holding in tension throughout your body. Give yourself a little shimmy shake. Waking the body up, becoming a little more flexible. And then come back into your stillness, allowing that tension to just disappear. And with that next inhale, you can open your eyes or keep them shut and just simply listen to my voice. We're going to inhale, lift our arms all the way up and overhead. Turn your biceps, turn your thumbs towards the outside edges of the room. Inhaling in, looking up. Exhale, flow your hands down to your hips. Inhale, lifting. 
Big stretch at the top. Exhale, float them down. Get your head involved, lifting your head as you lift your arms, looking up. Exhale, tucking your chin into your chest as you float your arms down. Inhale. Exhale. Keep that going for two more breaths. Great. Inhale. We're going to bring our hands out in front and then bend at your elbows, bringing your fingertips right to your shoulder caps. Inhale. Lift your elbows out in front of you, getting them to touch. This next is pose movement that we're going to do is going to feel a little awkward because we're going to do some elbow circles, shoulder circles. Um, so just go with it. So as we inhale, we're going to lift our elbows towards the ceiling, allow them to start to part, open up to the side walls, feel your shoulder blades rounding in towards one another. Think squeeze them together to get the best little workout for your shoulders here. And then as we exhale, we're going to start to sweep them down, bringing them back in front. Inhale, lifting. We're going to go a little faster now. Opening to the back, feeling that squeeze. Exhale, sweep them down. Inhale, up. Open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep that going. And do two more. Last one. Great. Go ahead and open your arms like the giant letter W, palms open to the front of the room. Again, pull your shoulders towards that back wall. Inhale, bring your palms and elbows together in the front. Exhale, open them up. Squeeze those shoulder blades back in together. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep it going. Connect to your breath. Really visualize yourself engaging specific muscles. Right now I'm asking you to get every muscle around your shoulder, shoulder blade to engage. One more. Inhale, exhale. Great job. You can release your hands down to the side. As we inhale, lift your shoulders all the way up to your ears. Exhale, loop them back and down your spine. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, inhale, exhale, keep it going, two more. Great, inhale, sweep your arms all the way up to the ceiling, big stretch. And as we exhale, we're going to release that right palm down to the floor and lean over to the right side. Turn your thumb towards the ceiling here. So we can really start to engage and lengthen through that left side. Inhale, press those left ribs towards the left wall here. You can stay up on your palm of that right hand, or you can start to lower yourself down onto the forearm. If you can't go all the way there, that's okay. Do what you can to feel this generous stretch through that side body. Inhale, really feel your lungs expanding. Exhale, let it go. Notice where you're holding in that tension and just try to let it go. You can move your head left and right, finding something that's comfortable for you. If your arm or shoulders bother you, you can always bring it down to your hip. Roll that top shoulder blade to the back wall. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, all the way up, both arms up and overhead. And as we exhale, we're going to go over to the left side this time, coming down onto that palm and then extending that right arm up and overhead, turning your thumb towards the ceiling here. Inhaling in and out. Really feel your lungs expand so you can get the best stretch through that side body. And with each breath, see if you can sink just a little deeper here into the left arm. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale. Exhale. One more in. Out. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale.
exhale, bring them down. We're gonna come onto all fours now, bringing your knees directly underneath of your hips and your wrists right underneath of your shoulders, coming into our tabletop position. Nice flat back here, pressing up and away from your mat, planting the tops of your feet down into the mat. Inhale, look out past your nose. Exhale, let it go. Open your fingertips nice and wide. Really press firmly into all 10 fingers here. Inhale, drop your belly down, send your hips to the sky, look forward. Exhale, round. We're gonna tuck that chin into your chest, pull your upper back towards the ceiling, press firmly into the tops of your feet. Inhale, lengthen, drop the belly. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. Hey, Lenny. Keep that going. Connect to your breath. We'll do two more. Great. Inhale. Come back into center here. We're going to open our knees as wide as our mat. Bring your big toes in to touch and plant that left palm directly underneath of your nose. With the next inhale, glide your left arm across your body, opening it up to the ceiling. Really press away from the floor, lifting out of that right shoulder. And again, you can always drop that arm down, pull that top shoulder to the back wall. Find what's comfortable for you here. Tuck that tailbone under. Inhaling in and out. Bring a smile onto your lips. Play around with where it's more comfortable to have your head position, right? Just because I can do something doesn't mean you can. We have different body mechanics, so you honor what you can do, and you grow, and you learn, and you change. And next session, you might be able to look up the entire time. One more big inhale in. Exhale, tap your left hand to your right hand. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, tap. Inhale. Exhale. Keep it going, in, out, one more. And this time with that exhale, I want you to sweep your hand right where Lenny's at through that left arm. We're gonna drop that left shoulder down to the mat, extend your right fingertips out in front of you, bring your forehead all the way down center onto the mat, focusing on your breath here, inhaling in and out. Inhale, exhale, in, out, one more breath here, in, and out. And as we inhale, we're going to slide that left hand all the way off the left side of the mat. We're going to dip that left shoulder down, again, bringing your forehead down towards the mat or looking over to the right side, feeling that stretch here in your pec. Inhaling in and out. You might need to externally rotate that shoulder so you don't feel any impingement, nothing that's causing pain. Inhale all the way back up. We're gonna plant the left hand under your nose this time. And with that next inhale, open that right arm all the way up to the ceiling. Tuck your tailbone under, press away from your mat. Inhaling in, turn your thumb to the back wall. You can feel right underneath of that shoulder blade engage as you do that. Inhaling in and out. Big inhale. Exhale. One more big breath in. Exhale, tap it down. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, tap. Keep it going. Connect your breath. One more, in, and as we exhale, thread that arm through, bring that right shoulder blade down to the mat, extend your left fingertips out in front, bring your forehead all the way down center, and just focus on your breath here. Inhaling in, pulling that right shoulder towards the right wall, really feeling that stretch. Two more breaths here, in, out. Last one. 
Great, inhale, glide that right hand all the way across to the outside edge on the carpet or on the floor and dip that right shoulder down. Again, maybe you externally rotate in that shoulder. Find what's comfortable for you here. Inhaling in and out. Bring a smile onto your lips as you breathe. One more breath here. In and out. Come back into your tabletop position. I want you to curl your toes under and we're gonna send our weight back into our heels here. Coming all the way up in your upper body. Take a breath in. Just allowing our feet to get a little extra stretch here. Look back, pull those pinky toes forward. Just making sure that they are engaged in that stretch as well. Sit up nice and tall. Now if this is too much pressure in your feet, you can always lift up and out of your hips just slightly. Inhaling in and out. Take your right hand to your chin. Press it towards that back wall, allowing your ear to come right over your shoulders. And just focus on your breath. You might feel a tightness through the arch of your foot. You might feel a burning sensation. These are all very normal. Right? We don't spend enough time stretching our feet and taking care of our feet or our hands for that. Yet they're the things that get us through our days. So we might as well give them a little extra love. Maybe find a very, very subtle sway left and right so you can start to activate the muscles in the toes, in the ball of the foot. Very subtle, nothing that's gonna cause pain. Inhaling in and out. One more big breath here. Great, come back into stillness. Release yourself forward. Keep those toes tucked under. And with your next inhale, press firmly into all 10 fingers and your toes. Lift your hips to the ceiling. Rotate your elbow creases towards that front wall, biceps towards the ceiling. Inhaling in, pressing into all 10 fingers here. Really firmly pressing that index finger knuckle down into the mat. Focus on your breath. It's okay if you have a bend here or if your heels are lifted. In time, you'll be able to lengthen through your legs a little bit easier. Inhaling in and out. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Bring your feet in pretty close to one another and release your upper body over your lower body. Have a nice big bend in your knees. And when you're ready, tuck your chin into your chest. Forward fold. As we inhale, we're gonna glide our hands all the way up to our thighs, lengthening through your legs, lengthening through your upper body. Look out past your nose, halfway lift. Inhale. And as you exhale, forward fold. Releasing your arms down wherever they are. If you're just dangling here, that's okay. Within time, you'll get to where you can touch the ground. This is not a competition. It's not an audition. This is simply you showing up for your body. Or your mind, for whatever reason you're here. Inhaling and gliding up into our halfway lift. This time, bring your hands to your shins. Exhale, fold. Chin into chest. Nice big bend in your legs. Allow your body to just drape over that lower body. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we're gonna slow and controlled. Roll all the way up to standing. Lengthening through your legs, tucking that tailbone under, rolling through the low back, mid back, upper back. Looping those shoulders up, back and down lengthening through the neck and through the head. Open your palms to the wall in front of you. Take an inhale in and out. Release your shoulders down away from your ears. Inhaling in and out. Inhale, lift all 10 toes up off the mat. Feel your body weight shift as we stand here. Try to close your eyes and see if you become a little unsteady. 
Take one more big inhale in. Exhale, release all of your toes down to the mat. As we inhale, we're gonna bend our knees, drop our hands down and draw a giant circle as we stand back up. Give me a slight back bend at the top. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. I want you to plant your palms down. Step one foot back and then the other. Release yourself down onto your knees. Shift your weight forward, straightening through that upper body. You can uncurl your toes here. Take a big inhale in. And as we exhale, keep your elbows in your side. And release your belly all the way down. Inhale, press through your hands, lifting your upper body away from the floor. Engage your glutes so we can keep that low back nice and safe. You can find a subtle rock side to side. Really loop those shoulders back and down your spine. Inhale, we're gonna hold it here. Exhale, look over your left shoulder like you're trying to look at that left heel. If you guys were here a few sessions ago, you know I was looking for that spider. Whew, glad he's gone. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, look over that right shoulder. Really pressing firmly into all 10 fingers, pressing into the tops of your feet. Inhale, look forward. And as we exhale, we're gonna send our hips to our heels into our child's pose. You can keep your knees in center, opening up through that low back, or you can open your knees as wide as your mat, opening up through your hips a little bit more, keeping your arms out in front of you. I want you to dig all 10 fingers into the mat, lifting your arms off the mat here. Inhaling in, feeling your upper back become activated. Think turning your elbow creases towards the ceiling here. Focus on your breath. And with that next exhale, release your arms down. And just relax here for a moment. Inhaling in. And out. I want you to bring a smile onto your lips. And think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. Inhale, find your flow all the way back up to our tabletop position. Pulling your knees into the center, curling your toes under here. Inhale, lift your hips to the ceiling, downward dog. Taking a moment to just breathe here. See if you can lengthen through your legs a little bit more this time. Really press into your index finger knuckle and then all 10 toes. With your next inhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or walk to the front of your mat, coming into our forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, we're gonna draw a big circle, open all the way up, standing nice and tall, slight back bend. Exhale, hands to your heart. Close your eyes, take a breath here. Inhaling in and out. Step to the center of your mat. Open your legs as wide as is comfortable to you. Make sure your feet are pointed towards that front wall. Don't eat your hair at the same time. Take a big inhale, sweep your arms all the way up, look up. And then as we exhale, we're gonna slow and control, start sending your hips to the back wall and leaning forward, first coming into our halfway lift, arms extended out in front, 
and then exhale, forward fold. You can have a slight bend in your knees here. Tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, press your fingertips into the floor, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, holding it there. Bring your left fingertips right under your nose and with your next inhale, open that right arm to the sky. Try to keep your legs nice and straight or have a slight bend in them. Find what's comfortable for you here. Turn that thumb towards the back wall. Inhaling in and out. And with your next exhale, release that left arm down, taking the spot of, I mean, your right arm, and then we'll send that left arm to the sky. Take a big inhale in and out. Play around with your neck. Find what's comfortable for you here. Get a little extra movement in. Focus on that breath. Big inhale. Exhale, release it down. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift, holding it there. Bring your hands to your hips, bend your knees, and slow and controlled, roll all the way up. Inhaling in. Exhale, turning your toes to the right side of your mat. We're gonna come onto the ball of that back foot. With our next inhale, we're gonna shift our weight forward, bending in that front knee. If you're not quite feeling this stretch here, you can step your foot in, or you can get a bend where we're straightening through that back leg first, tucking the tailbone under, and then trying to lengthen. You really wanna feel it through your hip flexor here first. Inhaling in, lift those arms up and overhead. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, lengthen through that front leg, exhale, sweep it down, drop your arms to your side, inhale, lengthening, lifting everything, exhale, inhale, exhale. You might find you're going to stumble, and that's okay. Isn't that part of life? We stumble, we try again, we just keep going. Ooh, I'm filled with metaphors today, you guys. One more, inhaling in, exhale, holding it down here. You can bring your hands onto your hips. I want you to turn that back heel down as we angle our toes towards the center of our mat. Inhale, lifting your arms up and overhead, and then turning, opening them to the sides of the room. Look over your front fingertips here. Welcome to Warrior Two. Inhaling in and out. Notice if you're lifting up and out of that front leg. See if you can sink a little further down. Try to keep your weight in the back of that other foot. That was very descriptive, I know. Take the weight out of the arch is what I'm saying. Put it in the outside edge of your back foot. Inhaling in and out. Inhale, we're gonna straighten through that front leg. Bump your left hip towards that back wall and just tip like a teapot over to the right. Allow that right arm to just fall where it's gonna catch, whether it's up here on your thigh, your knee, or your shin. Keep that left arm lifted to the sky. Pull the shoulder to the back. Turn your thumb towards that back wall. Inhale, look down. Focus on your breath here. Or try to send your gaze towards the ceiling. Slow and controlled though, because that one will challenge your balance. With your next inhale, I want you to bend in that front leg. Turn your hands down, plant those palms. Step your right foot back. And we're going to move through our vinyasa, this time starting in plank. Inhaling in. Exhale, keep those elbows in your side. Slowly lower all the way down. Belly to the mat. Uncurl your toes. Inhale, lengthen. Press through those arms. Loop those shoulders back and down your spine. And as you exhale, come into your child's pose. Bring your forehead all the way down to the mat. You can get a little rock here in your torso. Lifting one shoulder blade, dropping the other. And then find your stillness. Inhaling in. Exhale, press into the palms of your hands. Send your hips a little closer to your heels. 
Close your eyes if you haven't already. And just breathe. Allow your heart rate to slow down. Allow yourself to catch your breath. Nice, even, equal breaths as we breathe in and out. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. Inhale, find your flow all the way up to downward facing dog. Focusing on that breath, getting in your little micro movements, allowing your body to come into the proper pose. Inhaling in and out. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend those knees, big circle, all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take a breath here. Inhaling in. And out. Inhale, step to the center of your mat. Open your legs nice and wide. Fix all your clothes. Fix all your hair. Who told me I should cut my hair short, you guys? Whew. Inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Holding it here at the top. And as we exhale, we're going to bend in that right leg, straighten through your left, walk your hands over to the right. Inhale, coming back up into the center. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, each side. Last one. Great. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, forward fold. Slight bend in those knees. Bring your hands to your hips. Slow and controlled. Roll all the way back up to standing. Loop those shoulders back and down your spine. Go ahead and turn your toes to the left side of your mat this time. We're going to come onto the ball of that back foot. And again, you can bend that back knee, tuck your tailbone under, and then lengthen through. Shift your weight a little deeper in that front leg. You can move your foot as you need it. Get yourself nice and comfortable. And when you're ready, inhale, lift those arms. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, straighten through that front leg. Exhale, sink it down, float your arms down. Inhale, exhale, keep it going. Connect to your breath. Don't be scared of a little stumble. We simply find your balance again, find your footing again, and keep going. One more. In and out. Holding it here. We're going to spiral that back heel down. Point your toes to the middle of your mat. Open your arms as wide as the room. Look over your front fingers. Sink a little lower in that front leg. Inhaling in. Pull those pinkies to the back wall. Feel your shoulder blades squeezing in together, just like at the beginning. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lengthen through that front leg. Bump your right hip to the back wall and tip like a teapot over to the left. Inhaling in, turning your gaze down towards the floor. Focus on your breath here. 
Try to turn your gaze slowly towards the ceiling. Feel your balance being challenged. Think of hugging your inner thighs in towards one another, allowing you to hold your balance a little bit better. Inhale, gaze down, bend in that front knee. Bring your hands down to the mat. Plant those palms, step your left foot back. You can stay in plank or drop to your knees. Go ahead and move through your vinyasa. Exhale, sitting your back in a child's pose. Releasing your forehead all the way down. Inhaling in. And out. Close your eyes if you haven't already. And just breathe. And bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today, but this time be extra specific. With your next inhale, find your flow up to a plank position. Holding yourself here for a breath, inhaling in and out. With your next inhale, slowly control though, and you take that left knee to the left elbow and bring your ankle towards your right wrist here. Go ahead and lower that back leg down. Uncurl your toes, you might have to walk that leg Slightly back behind you. Press into all 10 fingertips. Lift your upper body. Flex through that left foot, you guys. Inhaling in. And out. You can stay right here, thinking pulling that right hip towards the front, pulling that left hip towards the back, getting a nice parallel line in our hips here. And when you're ready, you can slowly control, start to walk your arms out, lowering in that upper body just slightly. You can hold it here. You can try to come down onto your forearms. And again, slow and controlled. We do not want to strain any muscles, right? You have a little whisper now. There'll be a scream later and you'll regret it. So just listen to your body. If you're here and you feel like you can inch yourself closer to your mat, you can do a couple things. You can stack one fist on top of the other. Just release your forehead down. Or you can start to bring it all the way down towards the mat. Find what's comfortable for you here. And we'll stay here for three breaths. Again, pulling your right hip towards the front, your left hip towards the back. Getting a nice stretch through the left glute into your hamstrings. Notice where you're holding in tension. And just try to let it go. You can wiggle your shoulders just slightly, allowing them to release. You can release the tension you might be feeling in your legs. And one more breath here. Great, inhale, press your hands into the mat, lifting that upper body. We're gonna curl your back toes under, press firmly into your palms, send that left leg back, coming into our plank. Inhale, send that right leg forward, flex through that right ankle, release that back leg down, lengthen your body back. Inhale, lengthen that upper body up. Shift in your hips, this time pull the right hip towards the back right corner and your left hip forward. Inhaling in. Exhale, slow and controlled. Walk your hands out, finding what's comfortable for you here. 
releasing your body as needed. And it can be slow and controlled, connected to your breath. And we'll stay here for three breaths. Inhaling in and out. Noticing where you're holding that tension in. Try to let it go. One more breath here. Big inhale. And exhale. Inhale, press your hands into your mat. Come all the way up in your upper body. Exhale, we're going to sink that right hip towards the mat. Sweep your left leg out in front. Extend both legs here. Flex your toes towards your nose. Sit up nice and tall. Go ahead and plant your palms right at your hips. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Look up. Exhale, fold that upper body over your lower body, catching where you can. Maybe you just come to your shins. Release your head, or you work to your ankles. Or in time, you can grab the bottoms of your feet. And just release your head down, feeling a nice stretch from the top of your head all the way to your tailbone and down your legs. And with each exhale, feel yourself sinking a little further into the stretch. No straining at all, though. Inhale, slow and controlled, lift all the way back up. Exhale, release your hands to your mat. Go ahead and plant the bottoms of your feet all the way down. You might want to shift yourself into the center of your mat. Inhale, open your palms to the wall in front of you. Focus on your breath here. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, sink yourself back until you can just feel your core engaged. Inhale, lifting, lift those arms. Exhale, sink yourself back. Notice with your arms lifted how much more you shake. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale all the way out. Exhale, slow and controlled. Weight all the way down, but don't crush your animal. You gonna be my pillow? No. <laughs> Lengthen your arms up and overhead. Stretch through those legs. Yawn if you need to. And as you exhale, bring your hands towards your hips. Pull your knees into your chest, catching them with your hands. Give yourself a little shake here. Lifting that tailbone off the floor. And exhale, holding it still in the center. And get a rock side to side. Give yourself a little back massage. Inhaling in. And out. Coming back to center, take one big inhale in. Exhale, release that left leg down. Bend your right leg. Allow your feet to fall open as wide as the mat. And bring your hands down to the floor, palms open to the ceiling. Go ahead and close your eyes. Get yourself nice and comfortable on the floor. Take a big inhale in. And out. Focus on your breath here as we move into our final pose, Savasana. We're still, we're present, and we breathe. And again, if you notice your mind starts to wander, start to count your breath. One on the inhale, two on the exhale, three, four, Keep that going until you get to 10 and then start again.
inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes. Wiggle your fingers. Bat your eyelashes, open and closed. And when you're ready, roll onto your side facing me. Use your arm as a pillow. We'll take a breath there. Inhaling in. And out. Inhale, press in your hands. Come on up into a cross-legged seat. Sitting up nice and tall. Hands in your lap. Close your eyes. Take a big inhale in. And now, bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead. Inhaling in. And now, be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhaling in. And now, be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Take a big inhale in. And now, be kind in your actions to yourself and others. One more big inhale. And as you exhale, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, as much needed, as I mentioned at the beginning of class, our basement is flooding. So this might be one of the last times you see this room. I don't know um, what we're going to do. I keep looking there because it's like wet swamp. <laughs> so keep us in your thoughts as we navigate uh, pretty much I feel like a basement renovation. <laughs> and I will see you guys as soon. I will keep you posted. We're going to keep doing this. The scenery is just going to change. So I'm glad you guys could join and have a fantastic day. Bye.